What's up everyone? Today we're playing some four color Rhino Domain featuring Bloodbraid Elf in the main deck. So this is a version of Rhinos that I've seen floating around social media and it looks really fun. Casting Bloodbraid Elf to hit a Shardless Agent into Footfalls, getting 13 power for four mana. It seems pretty sweet, right? Because we're playing five colors, we're playing Domain, we have access to four Leyline Binding and we get Scion of Draco. So if we get all five colors of mana, we get Scion of Draco for two mana, Leyline Binding for one mana. Pretty sweet removal pretty aggressive with Scion. In order to make sure we have Domain, we have Indotha Triome and Xander's Lounge. So to get all five colors of mana, we can get Indotha Triome and Steam Vents, or we can get Xander's Lounge and Temple Garden. If we can get these two out at either time, we can get Domain, which makes Scion of Draco cost two and Leyline Binding cost one. Our main deck is pretty stock here with our Footfalls, Outburst, Charless Agent, and our Bloodbraid Elves for our Cascaders. We have Removal with Dead Gone and Fire and Ice. For a flex spot, we're running two Teferi main deck, and then we have our Four Fury here for Removal. So the downside to playing Bloodbraid Elf main with Sign of Draco and Leyline Binding is we have to get rid of some cards. So you'll notice that we're not playing any Force of Negation. We're not playing any Brazen Borrowers. That makes some matchups a lot more worse than they could be, but you'll see that later when we're up against the mirror. By playing Bloodbraid Elf, we're really asking, is this better than Force of Negation? Is this better than Brazen Borrower? And because we're playing five color, we lose access to- There are some lists that run Blood Moon in their domain lists, but I think it's pretty greedy. For our sideboard, we have four Dispute for the control matchups, four Endurances for Graveyard decks, four Force of Vigor for artifacts and enchantments, and then for our flex spot, you can kind of include whatever you want. I'm adding one wear tear for artifacts and enchantments, one subtlety. This helps with opposing teferis, big mana decks, and then teferi just for more control. So hopefully we don't miss force integration too much. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get in the gameplay. All right, welcome to match one. We're on the draw. This hand's a little weird. We have a tap trium here. We don't have our third land and we don't have a red source. It's the first game of the video, I'm like tempted to keep it because we can go turn one footfalls, turn two tap trium, and then hope to draw third land. I think we're going to keep because we're on the on the draw here. If we're on the play, I might throw it back. Let's try it. We'll see. Could be wrong. Could be greedy. Hopefully we just draw a fetch land at some point. So I'll play our forest out, suspend, pass. Most likely, I can't see a reason why we wouldn't play this turn two and then turn three, we have a lot of options here. Opponent gets Ketria Triome. Looks like the mirror. So we'll see how this mirror works out with this version versus typical version. Hopefully they just have like ice here. Also suspending rhinos against the mirror is like pretty solid. They're going to shock in a stomping ground, suspend their own footfalls. Okay, so they're not going to ice us. Kind of wish they did. So... Falls a couple turns. We will play this Triumph tapped and pass. It's also going to be awkward too because this is stock team of rhinos, so we know they're going to be bringing in Blood Moon. The way they they're fetching here, though, they don't have Blood Moon main deck. They play the Besage you out, so this looks like Shardless. Yep. So we're just going to be slapping rhinos around. Three more suspend here. Two more. All right, we draw a Leyline Binding. That's pretty good for removal. All right, we're just going to go get an island here. Play our own. Weird that the first first match of the video was a mirror. I don't really care for mirrors. It, it, I mean, it can be interesting. It can be like a skills matchup. It could be whoever draws the most rhinos. It varies, but I don't think mirrors are pretty fun in, in general. So I don't know what you guys think. If, if you enjoy mirrors or you prefer not. We do have Teferi main deck as well. That would be pretty sweet to get down. All right, they play the Atawara. I wonder if they're just going to swing out. It makes the most sense. And then we just, just even block. Like they could file an outburst here and just like deal us two, but I don't know if that's worth it for them. I mean, if they're going to be doing it, they might as well do it now, get two damage in, or they can just like wait till end of turn. And hopefully they're not playing Endurance main deck because that'll let them shuffle in all their footfalls and then it'll be a lot harder. All right, so they go on our one Rhino, so they do hit, hit, they hit us for four here. Not the biggest deal. Draw another Binding. So we can shard this again. This will go get a Xander's Lounge. Notably, they didn't play another Cascader, so that's actually really good for us. So we'll pass. This will go get a Xander's Lounge. We'll be able to Scion, have Leyline Binding up. Hopefully they don't have like Brazen Bar or Bouncing Tokens. That's Kind of annoying. Play another land. They could also have Furies. We can save Leyline Binding for Furies as well. They're going to get in. So we'll double block just in case they bounce one, which is what it looks like they're doing. Become Immense. Okay, so this is the Become Immense version. I don't think we have another untapped white source. Oh, just kidding. We do. But we don't. Oh, no. But it costs two, actually, because we don't have any red sources. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Become Immense. We played that in our last video. So because we don't have red, this... Leyline Binding costs two, so they're going to trade up here. It's actually a pretty good um, exchange for them. If we did have that white source, this would be a huge blowout. Okay, so they only have two cards in hand. We have Rhinos coming off Suspend now. A little unfortunate that happened. We'll cast the Rhinos, and they just have hard cast force. All right, so opponent, pretty solid draws here, making us look silly. We'll play out Scion here, get in for two. We're going to hold this out of Waro. It's tempting to play it now just to make our land drops, but we don't necessarily like need it right now. We could play it for gone 
but we have Leyline Binding up. We could attack Steam Vents here. They only have one card in hand. They have Rhinos coming off Suspend. And sadly, we don't have Force, which is a huge Mirror Breaker as well. So maybe we're not the favorites here. We took out, like, the best Mirror card. We're probably just, honestly, Leyline Binding this. Unless they have, like, another hard cast Force. I feel like they do, and they're thinking, is it worth it? If we do, if we do draw to Parry, we can always bounce Leyline Binding as well. They Suspend another Footfall. Oh, uh, so this is the 2 Become Amends 2 Season Pyromancer version. I feel like this version is pretty good against us because it can grind. Kind of annoying. Love to draw like a Fury. Oh well, no, we can't even cast Fury because of our, oh, Bloodbreak. Let's see what we can spin into. The Fairy, pretty sweet. We will take that. We can bounce a Rhino. Again, we could bounce Leyline Binding. Oh, when we hit. All right, we're going to play this out. I think we, because we don't have a red source up, if we had a red source for dead, I would attack and then dead something after the fact. I think we just chill. They did get to put two cards in hand from Season Pyromancer. But next turn... Hopefully we draw land and we can Fury something away. They could always just Fury to Fairy way too if they want. Yep, Shocker. So they're going to do like one... Oh, they're just... Oh, I guess I guess that's fair. Because they can just swing all out at Teferi. All right, both at Teferi. I guess we just take it. We have Leyline Binding for Fury. They play another land. We would prefer to draw a red source here. Ugh, the worst draw. Well, Leyline Binding Fury. And I guess pass. Because if we attack, we're going to end up blocking. If we're not attacking, we have to block. We could just go on this, actually. Let's see if... I mean, maybe they have like a trick. All right, we'll just... We weren't going to block this anyway because they can get tokens. I mean, maybe they force this. So maybe this is like a bad block. We're going to block regardless. So if they do have something so if they force this it's totally fine okay awesome so we were gonna make this block anyway unless they have like become immense and that, that would, i'm just looking for that red fetch land rhinos don't suspend there's that red fetch. i don't think we have to like sh we're not gonna shock ourselves we're just gonna get a mountain here we could save this for when they get rhinos out but i kind of want to get the pressure on also and our rhinos come off suspend right after theirs play breeding pool tap one card in hand not sure what it is definitely don't want to be drawing any more lands we will get in for six what's their one card yeah they're just gonna chump block that's fine. we're gonna hold this because like as a an opposing rhinos player like this could be anything and we don't need to make a land drop we don't need to crack it just to like thin our deck they're gonna go to 12 here they get an island they do get to cast this i would have loved to draw like a teferi or something right before this i would have been insane so our rhinos are gonna be a turn a turn behind theirs they get in for one definitely need like a big draw here we would love like a shardless agent would probably be the best all right footfalls need one more turn yeah now we're just flooding all right we have to throw it back if they have anything we just lose we're gonna have to trade fury for a rhino and then we get one of our rhinos block one see if they have like become immense or something now we go to two do they have like fire all right, our rhinos come off suspend now do they have the force now they've already used two no what is this it's definitely another force the third force that's rough draw ley line binding we're just gonna use it now that's rough they drew all the mirror breakers here with three forces and a spyro and become immense but it's hard to expect the become immense game one because you never know like what what stock version they're running so we're down to one all they need is a fire there's a fury not completely dead yet i wonder what the two cards in their hand is. two cards in their hand are they have to be like they're not lands they have to be spells but it's not they're probably like dead gone yeah they drew they drew really well i mean we both flooded they just flooded a little less okay so against the mirror the pseudo mirror don't want dead gones we definitely want disputes into fairy blood braid seems meh like we might hit i mean we could hit to fairy or fairies are pretty good leyline bindings are good for their furies maybe not the best just because it's just a rhino matchup scion's not the greatest either so maybe i'd rather have blood braid off than scion but we definitely want the teferis the disputes again force and negation is the huge mirror breaker so it's kind of unfortunate that uh we don't have access to that you sometimes endurance can be huge because it shuffles in some rhinos other than that it's not the greatest we'll go we'll Put in one endurance because we, we definitely want to shuffle back in if it gets to a super late game all right this hand has five lands like one scion i think we can do a little bit this hand is much better we have turned two ice into agent we'll put back leyline binding so we'll start with xander's lounge into ice into Char into charlie's pretty good curve as long as they don't have force which would they're going to suspend yep the classic forest suspend definitely need to put on up another fury ice the forest lands especially fetch lands here we're still going to shock this in to play Char this agent because i want to get a the other triumph with this if possible i want to get um our white source oh outburst as well so we play shard this agent get rhinos hopefully they don't have force negation oh they do not okay that's awesome if they had force there that would be wouldn't be the end of the world but it's just frustrating see if they have their own shard list most likely see if they brought in anything weird become immense nope oof and we draw again it's not the worst thing but what sucks is oh man suspending we can't suspend get our white source um i meant to attack there that's 
Oops. So because we didn't attack there, which I think I wanted to, we can outburst at the end of their turn, which if we were going to do that, I'd probably want to do that at their upkeep because they only have one blue source, so they can't force it if they did happen the top deck force on their turn. But I really want to get a, a, a um, white triumph with this. Right, so they play stomping ground. See if they attack. All right. I mean, I guess we're going to block, see if they do anything. They're just going to outburst. So we're going to take two here. I'm still trying to think like, is it a waste to... I'm not sure. Like... If we never draw another fetch land, which shouldn't be like impossible, but I feel like we're wasting, we're not getting like value here. I mean, I guess we'll just shock them. I don't know. I just, if we were going to do this, should have done this earlier, but they can't counter it. So hopefully we draw a land here. That would be fantastic. It's so sad. We can't attack either. Yeah, I think we're not sure. So they get rhinos. We have two rhinos in suspend. I don't even think we're going to live that long. Definitely want to draw a land. We're going to trade here. Hopefully they don't have become immense or a bounce spell, but it's not looking good. Block normal, see if they have anything. I feel like they have to, right? Do they have the become immense? Brazen bar. And again, we're not running brazen bars either. So just the mirror breaker is just terrible for us. I mean that and we drew all our footfalls. Play with Seijo. Maybe Fury can get us out of this. So we get to eat one and then trade with one. So we'll kill this one. They also don't have double blue to uh all right, we'll pass the turn. Hopefully they, they definitely have something. Yeah, we'll take a draw step, but yeah, there's no way we're getting out of this. It's not the greatest draws for us. And if they have a shard this here, that's just a uh, blood moon. We're at one. All right, so we have still two footfalls on suspend. We do draw the rhino. I mean, we draw outburst, which is exactly the one we needed. Sadly, again, we can't attack. I mean, maybe they have absolutely nothing. We should have attacked, actually. Yeah, that was a mistake not to attack. Like, we can't play it safe. By not attacking, we're playing it too safe, and we're at one, so there's no reason to not attack there. Because if, like, they have something, they have it. And they're going to make a bunch of, to like, tokens we're not going to be able to deal with either. Let's see what they pitch. Double force. Yeah, this, this, uh, this version seems, like, impossible, man. So they're definitely going to attack with this. They didn't. Wow. Because now we get more rhinos also. Do we even have any more footfalls in the... I think we have one more that we get. We draw a land that we can't cast one two three yeah i'm kind of annoyed that, i'm mad that i didn't uh attack with this last time so attack with both of these i think they should be at 12 so they're gonna jump with this i figured they jump with this to try and make more tokens that's what i would do we got 12 coming in if they don't block we outburst and then they're thinking i mean or you could just throw two tokens here i don't know if that's a winning line though <laughs> they keep going back and forth they don't know what to do oh they don't do anything i guess we're gonna we just gotta hope they don't have a third force. Oh man, wait, we use all our rhinos? Oh, we have one on suspend. Oh no. Okay, I miscounted. No, we put them to two. Ugh, see, so if we would have attacked that one time. Oof, okay. Yeah, I miscounted. I thought we, we do have three here and one suspend. For some reason, I thought we had like one more. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, welcome to match two. Let's hope this one goes a little better. I think we can keep this. We have, I mean, we don't really have any early plays, but we can make our land drops. We're on the draw here again. This hand's a little slow, but I think we can, we can manage here. We got like turn one Xanders, get our turn two and Daltha, and we're against Tron. We do have Beseju, so that can slow them down a little bit. I mean, they kept seven as Tron, so we can assume that they have Tron. And again, we don't have force negation. Force negation is huge. Already just not happy with this version. But a lot of the time you board force negation out, just bias here where uh, playing against all the decks that we actually want it in. They get expedition map, draw wooded foothills. This is going to go get a an Indaltha. They can crack map next turn, get a tower and have three mana available. I think because it's because they uh had the tower here. I played the Oblivion Stone. It's kind of annoying. Another Teferi. I do think we shard this here. Just get the pressure going, I think. They tap one green. Noxious Revival. God, are you kidding me? I mean, I'm gonna cast this regardless. If I don't if I don't cast this, they won't pop it. Noxious Revival. What are what are we playing this this league? What are the odds? So they put that on top. Now they have they can just leave this open and pop this if they want. Again, not the not the biggest deal. We'll attack, we'll make them pop it. So we could just play Teferi out. Uh, Triumph, so we have double weight up. Well, plus here, hopefully they don't have any huge payoffs and then we can hopefully do something. Ugin, yeah. rough, rough, rough. They plus on Teferi. We will, we'll hold up Leyline Binding for Ugin here. All right, so we hit Charlie's Agent, that's pretty good. Four mana, 13 power. Get him for three. I mean, they have nine mana. They could always just Ulamaga us. They, they can do many things. Triple Forest. They could Karna. Six mana is this Worm Coil. Oh no. Seven Scrying. So they can just minus four here and clear our entire board. These are rough matchups in general. Tron's never really been like a fantastic matchup. So we have the Forces, Wear Tear, Subtlety. Again, if we had Force of Negation, much, much easier. Get rid of the Dead Gons here. The Fairy's not that good. I guess we don't need Wear Tear. We'll do the Forces, Subtlety, Scions. We're still fine. Leyline Binding. All right, we're on the play. I think we keep because we have Subtlety here. 
don't really know exactly what we're looking for anyway. We're just looking to, I mean, maybe we could maul to like Baseju or something or Ice just to keep them off tempo. They did keep seven again and sometimes they just have it. So nothing you can do about it. We'll get a Xander's Lounge. I guess we should have got, uh, I mean, I guess we'll just get a Temple Garden here and suspend. So they play the Power Plant. It looks like they have Natural Tron. They, they're not cracking this, so they definitely have Natural Tron, which is not booed well for us. We're also not running Blood Moon either. Again, I'm just going to keep harping on, on why this version isn't as good with all the matches we're playing against. But we will play out Shard this year and see how, how dicked we get after... Uh, do they have Warping Whale? They just have everything. And they have Noxious Revival for Warping Whale. Okay. I mean, we're going to have to make them use it because if they don't like use it now, they're going to use it eventually. I don't mind just getting more pressure on the board. I'm just going to say no because we have this other Shard this agent, so I don't mind not using it since their mana is open. Get him for five. Get that pressure on. I would love to... Also, we tapped like... Or we... we uh, Fetch like garbage here because we have a double blue card. This should have been a steam vents or a breeding pool. And they do have so, so they have scrying for tower here. Five mana. They can Karn. They can O stone. They could ping this if they want. Still have Rhinos and suspend. Yeah, I'm sad we tap like garbage. They'll probably block here. Shoot this. Yep. Ping, ping, ping. So we have to. I wish we drew like a. A, 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 another blue card here because if we could subtlety their next we would be uh, in great shape so we don't have a group we don't have anything to pitch to anything we have three pitch cards nothing to pitch to it so i really gotta hope they don't have anything but again the chances of that happening i mean if they just go for bridge that's that's huge i'm assuming that's what they're gonna go for here and they're gonna try to dump their hand they get filigree silac all right so we're gonna blow that up before it's suspended because they can just crack and kill these two rhinos here and then the rhinos will Come off suspend. They won't get blown up. Oh, they have Warping Whale. Let me draw another forest. We'll kill Karn. This game is rough. We just want to like draw well or draw something. Expedition map. This is going to get um, Ugin's or Blasson or just another tower for mana. So they can take this up to three. I'm so mad about this mana here. It's so sad. If they don't have anything, we can just uh, win here though. Nice. All right. So tapping like crap and not... Drawing the greatest. All right, we're on the draw this time, so it's going to be extra, extra hard here. Put a mulligan to six. What do we think about this hand? Turn one Triumph. Turn one Indaltha. Ottawara. We're on the draw here. We have ice. We have like three plus draws to get a uh, a uh, third land here. And we're just going to draw fetch land anyway. Nope. We have one look, two looks, three looks with ice. We have four looks. Ancient stirrings. That's good for them. They're going to find another Tron piece here. They're on a one lander. Wow. Greedy, greedy. All right, we'll get Indaltha Triumph here. Definitely, definitely want to fetch. Not a fetch land. It's a land though. We're definitely going to ice their, their mine though. Can't believe they kept their one lander with just stirrings. So we drew another one. I thought we were greedy. Oh no, they top deck the power plant. So we could leyline binding the mat. Seems like such a waste. We definitely have to though. So we will do white. It sucks like tempo wise, but we know that they don't have any other lands and that's going to get the land. And we know they have Haywire Might to kill binding, but they don't have a green source. They might have... Oh, that's huge. Okay. Scion of Draco. Let's play Shard this Agent here. They're holding up Warping Whale, which is maybe a reason to play Scion of Draco. We'll see if they continue to miss land drops or not. So they can get back Leyland Binding if they draw land into Might. Hopefully this is nothing. Hopefully they just like waste this green mana here. I'd love to draw a fetch. All right. So we will Shard this here and we're going to fire this Might. I mean, is it worth it to fire the Might? This costs two mana as well. Because if they draw a green source, nah, we're not going to fire them. We're just going to put a lot of pressure on the board. I can't see... The only way they can get out of this... Well, no, they can't. Because if they hit tower and they try to Karn, nice. Yeah, because if they hit tower, try to get bridge, we will just subtlety the Karn. On our turn, we can fire the Haywire Might. They gain two. It'll be close. What a greedy keep, but we punished. All right, welcome to match three. We're on the draw again, three times in a row. And this hand is obviously not keepable. We have no lands. We do have a full house though. So we're gonna mulligan. Opponent get also mulliganed. This hand is a lot better. So we will keep this. The question is, do we want to lead on footfalls? Cause we want to get all this stuff. We're gonna put full. Sometimes it's okay. If we don't have to, we're not going to. Cause we want to play this tap. Darks like Shores again. Force and negation, pretty solid in this matchup. It's weird when we have it, typically whenever we play like a general teamer list, we usually side it out. Like we'll side it out against Murktide and all that. But here we would probably like it. So they have a crab into 
Ugh, fetch land. So we're just hoping they don't have the main deck. Some of the uh, mill decks have been getting rid of surgical. So hopefully they don't mill rhinos and surgical. But Fury is interesting, I think. I think we're going to Fury away their board, to be honest. They're definitely going to crack that. So we'll do this. And then when they go to crack, we'll uh, fire this. This is a nice little way to... Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah. So we'll kill this crab before the fetch land resolves. So they only get one. We're missing out on one damage here, but it's not a big deal. So they'll play this tapped. Get one trigger. Still. Uh, no, no rhinos. So that's, and then we'll pass here. So they do have drown up for Teferi, which sucks. Let's see what they do here. So we will play Teferi, force them to, uh, to act. Uh, we draw a binding. That could have been, uh, I guess it wouldn't really mattered. Good Temple Garden here. Play out Teferi. If they have the Drown, they're going to Drown this. Still no Rhinos. Wow. It's actually pretty awesome. Hopefully they don't have more... more. Okay, so they do have the Drown. So let's see. We uh, one char this. One, two, three, four, five, six. They had a lot of our Cascaders. So we, I guess we want to draw land for this blood breed and then land wise they've milled one two three four five six seven eight it's close visions of beyond they get to draw three this is like a rough game one unless we get like rhinos online immediately but because we didn't have any shard this or definitely want to draw not really that like we could ice for a land i think we will um well, ice at their upkeep because i want to draw a land for blood braid elf it doesn't really matter when because we were going to uh cast this anyway most likely we don't care about our life we want double red we have Green, don't need double blue. Hopefully hit rhinos here. No, we hit the fairy. That kind of stinks. It's not the worst, but we'd rather hit rhinos there. So like maybe it's better to cash shard this for the uh, guaranteed rhinos. I don't know. At least we know they can't counter our stuff. They play another crab. Oh, uh, they draw the f they draw the fetch land. Still no rhinos. Two mana here. Drown that. So I guess it's good that that we hit the fairy because uh we were able to. Oh god, and we draw the rhinos. That's terrible. All right, I guess we'll play out shard this here. I'm probably gonna die before uh before anything. We'll we'll tick up. I want to uh bounce this before we attack. I'm pretty sure. And I kind of don't want to draw a card on this. They surgical or cyan or draco. Why didn't they surgical one two? I mean, I guess they get to look at our deck. Four cards. Oh, they surgical that to uh, Tasha us. Okay, that's one, two. We still have one footfalls left. I don't even know what our threats are. I don't. I don't feel like looking. Another blood braid off. That's actually pretty sweet. Bounce that. We're gonna play this. Um, we have nothing left in our deck, and. Exaxes, yes. So we hit Blood Braid Elf. Two cards left in our deck, too. That was close. All right, against against Mill. We want Disputes. We want Endurance. I feel like they're going to bring in... It sucks that we don't have... Um, that we don't have Brazen Borrowers because they're going to bring in Bridge and it's not going to be fun. The Fairy can bounce Bridge. I want to bring in all these. Take out the Dead Gons. Scions can have pressure, I guess. And Scions are really good against Tasha's. Leyland Binding's decent. Fury's decent. I mean, we definitely want all of these, 100%. So maybe, maybe Leyland Binding's not the greatest. Fairies kills crabs for free. I would take, we'll take two Blood Braids out because we'll take two Blood Braid out. We'll take two Blood Braids out because they're going to be like milling footfalls. And if we have too many ways to get footfalls, it's just not going to work out. And I think this is the best to, to bring in. So we'll try that. Fury's good against crabs, not really much else. So like maybe we could have boarded that out as well. All right, this hand is pretty awesome. Doesn't have endurance, but it has turn one footfalls. I think we, we have to keep this. It has turn one footfalls and just like a lot of pressure. So hopefully we can... Uh, we can get there with it. obviously an endurance main deck would or in our starting hand would be sweet also the fury we could get a temple garden here suspend footfalls and pass it's also fine to suspend here just in case they mill and surgical they hit one footfalls no they hit our xanders they hit one footfalls and some of our cascade we would love for them to play crabs but it doesn't look like they're going to play water grave they do play a crab and they play the fetch land so they must have just drawn that draw a violent outburst play flooded strand we'll crack this now what's uh it sucks that um we'll crack this now to get domain next turn with uh actually you know what now we have to get breeding pool here we don't have a blue source. I'm going to crack this now to play around another archive trap. And we're just going to fury this away. I don't think they have another crab or they would have played it. I mean, I guess they can drown. No, they can't drown. They're just going to fetch to, uh, they hit one endurance and the endotha trium. I guess we just really want to make it to turn three so we can start slamming all these cascaders, but they can easily hold up drown for all of these. Oh, they're going to surgical endurance. Ugh. Okay. So yeah, this matchup can be rough if I mean, these draws are, we kept, maybe we didn't keep like a, a mill, mill kind of hand, but it's like if they mill us and then take away stuff, hopefully they don't have more surgicals for, if they, surgical or rhinos, we're going to be like pretty SOL. Okay. It looks like they don't, they're just holding up drown, shock this in. We'll just outburst at their upkeep because if they want to, uh, if they want to do it, they can spend the mana on their turn. If we did on our turn, we would get 
a... We know they have it. Like, there's no way they don't. They should tap blue-black. So the hand's been pretty good. Tap Dark Slick Shores. Rhinos still need one more turn. You yeah, draw the Fire and Ice. We will play Shard this Agent. I think we, this is the last Rhinos. We're going to fetch now, play around Archive Trap. The Fatal Push. We don't have anything. So we have three Scions. Fairy... Four Mystical Disputes. Yeah, our hand's pretty uh, anemic here. Not really sure what we're doing, but we're going to probably use Fire here. Oh, man. They're drawing pretty well. Visions is really good for them right now. Another one. Wow. They just drew six cards. There's no way they don't have, like... No. They draw nine cards here. Why does it look like they... Oh, they cast... Okay. Yeah, that's... And they're going to have Drown for this, too, which sucks. I can't even tap down their things because they can just float mana. Wow, they didn't have it. And we draw the Dispute. That's actually really awesome. So we're just going to hold up and Dispute now. I can't believe they didn't... They drew nine cards and they didn't find one Drown. All right, we'll pass. If they can't answer this, they just lose. They're tapping a blue mana. What's up? They cycle. That's totally fine. Hopefully they just try to like hard cast like archive trap or something. I mean, that won't even do it. This is three. So if be six, 12. See, they, they have to have a fetch land here. Right, we're going to fire this because if they have a fetch land, that's only 12. That's fine. Oh no, they have a field. of. Maybe they won't. Damn. So like we could have counted the crab here. Do get a mountain. Is that going to do us in here by not because we didn't count the crab? So now I feel big brain for not counting the crab. Do they have another? Do they have their own dispute? Okay. So it didn't matter. Yeah, they drew nine cards. Like, there's no way they're not winning that, right? If they if they lost, they must have just really bricked. All right, so this hand is pretty awesome. We're going to keep. We don't have double green for hard cast endurance, but we have pitch. We'd like to draw another fetch land to make double green here so we can start hard casting these. We have some good early plays. I'm trying to think if we want to fetch now. I'm just going to fetch now. I don't think we're going to dispute a turn one crab. I'm going to Dotha try him. I'm fetching now as well to play around, like, Top deck archive trap. I mean, if they have it, they have it there. Double archive trap. Okay. So we do have the endurance. Wow, they let on field of ruin. See if they want to uh surgical something. It looks like they want to. Wow, another another endurance. We will take it. All right, we'll send it back. We would love a uh a fetch land though for green. Did they really keep a double archive field of ruin hand? It's gonna say that's they they had to have just topped that. You know what's funny is that they can't uh they can't, um, they get an untapped water grave. What are they going to do with it? So it's tempting to want to endurance there so they don't draw three. But then if they surgical in response, kind of annoying. And we honestly have two, we have double endurance here because we can just pitch endurance to endurance and endurance to outburst and just win on the back of this as long as they don't draw like push and stuff. All right, they drew a swamp or they drew some lands with that. Also, if they let us untap, we can hold up in dispute as well. They're tapping mana. Drown, that's fine. So we have one, two. All right, so they're going to surgical our and they concede. Wow. All right, we'll show them the other. So yeah, so they, wow, they concede to that too. That's, I don't know. Would you guys concede to that? We had the triple endurance hand, which is pretty sick. Yeah, our hand was pretty stacked with protection. We had the rhinos. We, we kind of had everything here, and but they also kept a weird double archive trap hand hoping to get there. So maybe that's on them. All right, round four, we finally get to be on the play. And this hand, don't like this hand. Doesn't have any Cascaders, double Leyland Binding, top heavy cards. We don't know what we're up against, and I think we can do a little. <laughs> All right, this hand, way, way worse. We're going to mulligan this one as well. Much better. Keep this, put back, Stomping Ground, Misty. We'll lead off on Xanders and pass. Pretty good five, just three lands. And All right, so we're up against Hammer. And they have a fantastic start here with, if we would love to draw, oh, Leyline Binding actually. Play Wooded Foothills and pass. So we're going to try to be cheeky here and Leyline Binding this Ornithopter. As long as they don't have, right, we'll get in Dotha Triumph here. We'll play out the forest and I guess we will outburst. It's tempting to have just Leyline Binding to guard his aid here. But as long as they're not doing anything, we can get some pressure. They don't have blue mana, so this could be mono white or mono white, or just they just haven't drawn any fetch lands or whatever. So we will attack here. We can't blood braid elf. We're gonna have to hold open Leyline Binding in case they want to like they could kill us with Ink Moth next turn. So we have to hold open um and Daltha here. We need we need double red. We need blue. Get stomping ground. Play Charlotte's agent and just threaten lethal. So the question is, do we we're dead to double hammer. So let's I think we have to um when they make a construct here, we ley line binding. Are they going to activate okay? So they do activate ink moth. So with that, we're going to if they have protection here, we just like lose. So there's I don't know. You could argue doing it sooner, maybe, but if they have another one, then it's then we just lose that way. You guys let me know about timing there. I'm not sure. I thought my time like the timing was fine, but apparently not. So with this matchup, I mean if they have just like that perfect little session like that, what don't we want? 
Like all these cards are pretty fantastic. Bloodbraid off seems the weakest because it's slow. They look like mono white. Bringing forces, wear tear. Kind of unfortunate. It's a really good, uh, good five too. So we'll mull this hand. This is a six lander. And again, we're going to mulligan to five. We're going to mulligan to four. We haven't seen one force of vigor yet either. We're going to keep this. We have to put three cards on the bottom. I'm going to be, we have to put back one land. I'm not going to keep three lands here. Two, we'll just keep like a solid curve, I guess. And then we'll just hope to hit that third land. So I really don't want to keep three lands in a shard this age. And I think that's not, that's not like a winning line. All right, we're getting Dotha here just in case we top deck Rhinos because um, we want to get another try and stomping ground. We'll see what they play. I might fire whatever they play just because we draw a third land. It sucks that it's a three mana card too. Right, we'll just get Xanders then. Every time we play Hammer, they always have this. Uh, stomping ground. We'll pass the turn. Hopefully they get Cauldra here, but probably just a Hammer because they have Cigar Aid. So they can attack and equip Hammer. I think we need to um, need to draw like Fury, get this off the board or like a Leyland Binding. Oh, sick. Oh, they tapped out. All right, so we're definitely going to Fury away these two. Well, Auto War is pretty nice. I'm surprised they tapped out, to be honest. Kind of want to hold this. It's like really tempting. Is there any... Is, I'm trying to think if there's if there's any way we get punished by holding this. I don't think so. Because if we draw like a Fury, we can just play it. I mean, I guess we have to block. If they draw a double hammer, we lose. Don't really want to lose the double hammer. Pure Steel Paladin. I don't know. It's not getting any better. Yeah, this is just like the worst draw possible. We'll play it and pass. If they have the other hammer, like whatever. This is 15, 15, 16, 17. They had us to one. Do they have another hammer? They have to have it, right? It sucks that we had to middle four against hammer. We have like a, I mean, we have like a decent sideboard against them. That's weird. Why didn't they play that? Let's just see what we draw. I mean, there's the force. One turn too late. And we can't even cast it. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could cast it. We could play it and cast it. We kill this. I mean, I guess we could still live. This, this. Yeah, I should have played that out a lot more. We play out of war. We force the hammer and we'd have to force... We'd have to kill Gingerbread, but then we just lose to, like, anything. I guess I should have taken a turn there. All right, we're on the play in the final match, and we're going to keep this hand. We have turn one suspend, and we have a lot of turns to draw land. So we're definitely going to look for that. Hopefully we get that 3-2. So we'll play Misty, a good Temple Garden here. Sanders Lounge. Hopefully we, uh, hopefully we're not against the mirror again. Fury, not exactly what we want, but maybe they play some small creatures. Maybe this is creativity. So Fury's pretty... This is Fury's a card we board out. We do have the, the Teferi, which is pretty nice. Hopefully they don't have... Okay, so they're going to Thought Seize us. So this is like the uh, four color. At least they're not running Teferi, most likely. All these lists can change, but typically the Thought Seize list doesn't run Teferi. They probably take Teferi. We'll go get Xander's here, and hopefully we draw... Our third land would be fantastic, but they probably just have Spell Pierce off. You can't, and you're not going to throw back a two land hand like this. Hopefully they do something that is... Fury. Oh, so that's why they, they threw it back. So we're definitely going to Fury this away. I don't even know if they're playing blue. That'd be sweet if they're not. That's one way we uh, we can win. So we're going to pitch this. I'm going to say Leyline Binding. It's really unfortunate. If we drew a land, we'd just be so far ahead. It wouldn't, it, it would be game. If they don't crack this, that means they, they must have just drawn that for, because unless they're saving this for, uh, again, really hoping we draw this land. I'm trying to think if we eat this Fable token, the Shaman token, but if we draw a land, we could just bounce it. I don't know. It's not looking good. I think we're just binding this now, because if we draw a land. I, I just want to slam shard this here. We finally get to cast these footfalls. They can't spell pierce it because we have two lands. Every time. Worst draw. Without fail. So they're not cracking this because they want to wait until they have another mountain so they, get, they can get a dwarf token. But they're going to discard enough to where they draw at least one fetch. Thought seize lightning. So now they get to go off with the creativity or do they have a... Yeah, creativity. Discard. So now if we draw a land, we have to uh, bounce the fairy. Bounce. We attack for four and we have dead... Hopefully we draw another land so we can dead this Reflections. I don't know what's in their hand. Casting something, maybe another Fable. No. We could maybe get rid of Charlotte's and just go on this, I guess. It wouldn't have mattered. Really unfortunate game. Let's see what we draw. And again, that's another Force of Negation matchup. So we'll bring in... We have Subtlety to Fairy. I think we have to bring in some form of Endurance because uh, they're going to be a Persist deck. Fury's out. Yeah, we'll try this. Hopefully they get some better luck. All right, so this is a five lander with... Uh, these hands have been terrible this league. And they're a Thoughtseize deck, which makes it even worse. I mean, I guess we'll keep this. I'm going to put back Bloodbraid. I'm just going to keep a double... I'm just going to keep a removal heavy hand. I really don't want to go to five against Thoughtseize decks. And this hand's like not the worst. I'm just going to fetch now for F6 value. And they play Proving Ground Tap. Violent Outburst, pretty sweet. Just going to get Indatha here. You could argue waiting, get a Temple Ground because if they play Renin 6... 
you want to ley line binding that immediately. So actually, that's this is not correct. So we're going to get punished here because if they play run in six, we should have gotten Temple Guard and end of turn, run in six them. Collected Brutality. So they're going to get rid of an Archon. Their hand must be that good to where they didn't discard anything. But they got our one payoff, which sucked. All right, Scion, pretty good. Get some pressure going. Now we'll hold this open if we want ley line binding or dead gum. Bitter Reunion. See what they discard here. Has to be an Archon, right? Our hand is not good enough to even thought. Stomping Ground tap. I'd love to draw some Rhinos here. Nope. I'm trying to think if we... We're going to ice something and hold open dead gum. Because I want to draw and I want to take them off of 4 mana for... Because they can get a Triumph here. And the next turn play a fetch land, play, play a dork. And then we can just go on it. So we will ice their Proven Ground. This is their green source too. There's the Dwarven Mine. Bitter Reunion. Filtering a lot. Put an Archon in the yard. And they thought see. So we'll do this now. And they'll just take a Leyland Binding. That's really need some pressure here. The reason like this game isn't close or is close is because we're not drawing like anything. So now they can easily like persist an Archon. We bind it, but we lose our state. Our our Draco here. They like 100% have a persist too. So they're going to thought seize us and then persist. They're just setting up for like a huge creativity though. I'll get Temple Garden. Every time. Every time. All right, we'll attack them. I mean, I guess we'll play everything out too. Because if we have to sack something, we're attacking them because we're just hoping, I mean, top decking is not even going to gonna matter. They're just going to creativity and then haste it. Terrible draws here. God, all that complaining and they, they scoop. What the heck? They filtered so much. How did they have nothing? That's crazy to me. I want more endurance, less to fairy. That's crazy. I th I would have I would have put a thousand bucks. We were dead there. And then I mean, I right, mulligan. This hand's terrible. I don't even know. I put a mulligan to six also, but we're gonna have to go to five because we can't draw a good hand to save our life. We'll keep these. One, two, three. Go back a land. We're gonna be greedy. On five, I think we have to be greedy here because they're gonna thought seize, take away endurance if they have persist if they don't have persist they're just going to take outburst i think that's like fine and we draw a land there we go see always had it so back this will get another triome see if this is bit of reunion probably not there right probably just run six they put nature's claim oh for a ley line binding okay i was like why are they running in the stage and pretty good we'll just do this now no point in waiting and the fact that we have a force means we can hard cast endurance also they do play the foothills and crack it immediately what sucks is we have absolutely no removal for next turn's creativity we don't have permission i mean we just have to slam this and they can just say like, creativity for two and we just so they get to filter two draws they draw three new cards here they can also just x equals one so i'm assuming they're gonna oh they're just gonna i was gonna say they i feel like they would play a land first so they're gonna attack get the treasure token we'll eat it i guess yeah i was gonna say if they had the land do they not have it oh hit it sugu okay it's way better than uh could have been way worse so we'll just hold open outbursts i guess and then they're dead next turn to so the exile of the graveyard so it sucks is that if they draw land here they must not have had it because they they should have they would have um do they not have it no way they have to have something here unless they're just they're really bricking on lands and we have double outbursts so there's no way they can survive what is this okay terminate four five six all right so this isn't enough the terminate really saved them here so they can still easily win if they draw like a land or something five six seven it's like just not enough because we didn't draw. There'll be five, six, seven, eight. All right, we'll hold the Beseju for whatever reason. Maybe they need like, they do like a token thing or something or, well, if they, we'll hold it because if they try to um target either of these, if they draw a land and they target either of these, we can just Beseju it. They discarded everything. Okay, so we're going to definitely outburst here because otherwise they're just going to take it. And even if they Archon, if they persist in Archon here, they just lose. All right, so we can, so we can, yeah, they just lose because whatever they target, we just kill and i don't think they they don't have anything that they can uh, stop this with i can't believe we're gonna win this i can't believe that that's insane what the heck they just like didn't draw anything i guess they really needed that fourth i don't know i well so they draw the archons yeah i guess their draws were just terrible all right so that was four color domain rhinos featuring blood braid off in the main deck so what do we think about adding blood braid to our normal five color domain list? so just based off this league blood braid elf was fine it wasn't anything like spectacular the best thing it did was Bloodbraid Elf into Shardless Agent into Rhinos. So that's basically putting 13 power into play for four mana, which is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. But other than that, it was it was like cool. It stinks that in this league we did miss Force Negation. Playing against the mirror, playing against Tron, you definitely want Force Negation there. It was nice having to ferry when you're up against the mirror, but those games just didn't go too well for us. I think this deck is fine. As you guys saw, we mulled to like five. 
four, six, like we mowed a lot that league. So it felt a lot worse than it really was. For the sideboard, I like it. It's pretty, pretty standard here. Our three flex spots, they were fine when we brought them in. We didn't really get to cast any, but you can kind of pick and choose what you want these to be. If you want more artifact hate or more control, you can like pick and choose whatever. Overall, this wasn't my favorite version of Rhinos. Again, Bloodbraid Elf was fine, but not enough to where I want to probably play it again. That'll do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.